hey, you made it, final day of this module. And today's an interesting one because I want to talk to you about using some of the tools we've shown you over this module and in past modules to really start to build relationships with key people in your niche. This is crucial because the more people know about you and the more you help people out, the more they're likely to help you out as well. And it's it's abs you can't go into market leadership into any niche by yourself, particularly when you're starting out. So you really need to understand who are the players, much when we talked about earlier in the module about the competition analysis. This is something deeper. We're going at a step deeper now to really look at who's who and the people, the individuals, and how to contact those people, how to help them, how not to be seen like a stalker. All of those sorts of very key tips. And what's exciting about this is that now you've got another seven days off before we get to the next module. So you're gonna really be able to use those seven days to practice these techniques. Now, I know a number of you might be thinking, well, I just don't feel confident enough to do this in the area that we've chosen to do it with the challenge. Let me give you a huge tip on this. One of the best things you can do, if you don't feel comfortable about doing it in your market at the moment, do it in your hobby. Practice with your hobby. And it's a great way to do it, and who knows, your hobby might end up being an excellent market anyway. But if you use your hobby to practice these techniques and learn about it, well, hey, it'll be really cool anyway. You've got something out of it, but you're also practicing as well. So that's a little tip. All right, have a great time today. Check the videos out there. And remember, we will be back with the next module after seven days.